From the Depth Instant Tutorial. You're watching Jim with Esme, and we're back in From the Depth Instant Tutorials. Today we're going to tackle the topic of custom jet engines. You'll have custom jet engines, the small ones as well as the large ones. They are a very good system, very versatile and is very good to use as long as you are not intending to be underwater. So if we begin a little bit with the basics, what is the smallest custom jet engine you can make? Well, it's a jet controller and a combustion chamber. So this simple setup generates uh, 7200, which isn't very much uh, if you compare to a huge jet engine like this and it can generate uh, something like 18,000 if we have the engine power to spend. So how do we make this more efficient? Well, what we need is to have this thing, an air intake. We'll have a jet controller, a capacitor chamber and a jet exhaust. And if you add that simple part here, we are now suddenly 13,000 thrust instead of uh, 7,000. So just an intake and an, and an exhaust makes it a lot more uh, uh, efficient. So basically, if we go to the exhaust here, we can see that it gives us a little bonus. It uh, increases the uh, well thrust and efficiency of the engine too. So here we have an air intake and the air intake has a uh, multiplier thing that makes it more efficient. You can see um, also on the engine here, exhaust efficiency bonus 1.1x, so basically 10% bonus. And uh, you are kind of, you need to have an intake. If you don't have an intake, you can see here, no intake efficiency penalty x60. Uh, so it's down to the 60% of the base efficiency when we do not have an intake. There are many types of intakes you can uh, have. You can have from the side, um, from the front, a different way. And you need to conduct, uh, conduct the air uh, with ducts. Um, so you kind of have uh, air tubes from somewhere where there are clearance and the air can be intaken. And as long as you have that, uh, it needs to be 8 meters uh, free air in front of them in order for it to take up. So you can actually um, you can actually lock them into some builds of yours. Um, and if you have this type of intake, well, these need to have a clearance of eight meters, or this thing needs to have a clearance of eight meter. If it doesn't, if we add like a block here, you can see the clearance 38 percentages. If we go a long way off you can see the clearance is 100%. It's not like uh, exhausts that need a straight line forever. Right, so this engine has a thrust of 18,000, this 13,000 and that is because this hasn't more combustors. No, what did we do? We added a compressor. The compressors here in yellow, they add um, efficiency and they also add thrust without changing the materials used per second. So just adding more compressors will make your engine more efficient. Basically, uh, it will have the same material per second use at it, as it has, uh, but it will do more thrust. So basically, the uh, combustors, they're in red, the exhausts in pink, the air intakes in green, and the jet compre compressors uh, in yellow. The more compressors you have, the more thrust you have uh, with no change in materials per second. If you add more uh, jet combustion chambers, you will have a higher thrust. We can turn this thing on here and you can see we are thrusting 51,000. So now we're coming up with some pretty uh, high power engine here. And you can see now we have a combustor, a compressor, a combustor, a compressor, a combustor. And this doesn't change the materials used per second or efficiency one bit. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that the combustion chamber is the thing that's closest to the end of it. Because the engine kind of knows which one is the end uh, by having a combustion chamber there. So if we change this to a jet compressor, 
uh, here, back here. It doesn't understand it's an engine. The compressors needs to be in front of a combustor. A compressor needs to be in front of a combustor. So compressor in front of a combustor and it will work. And you can have a combustor, a compressor, a combustor, a compressor and a combustor and then an exhaust and it works fine. And these two engines are very ident identical. They use 3.6 materials per second, uh, give the same thrust. It's just the layout. And the jet controller, you can have it in the front, you can have it in the back, you can have it in the middle. It doesn't matter where you put the uh, uh, jet controller, as long as it is between the air intake and the exhaust. Here you can see an example which is basically no uh, jet compressors. So this is 51,000, 51,000 and this is 40,000 with the same materials used per second. Of course this is more compact and it would give less thrust if we uh, replaced one of these with a compressor. Uh, but well, it also draws less power then. But if you need to be really compact, you can only have combustors and no compressors. And that's fine too. Less efficient, but uh, works pretty well too. If you want to be quite efficient, you can do like this. Here we can see we have a big row of compressors and three combustors, just like this one. And this one, the compact one, uh, 39. 1600 thrust and this one has 64 almost 65,000 thrust so you might imagine that this engine would be at least twice as powerful as this one and that's not the case because they both have three combustors and that means they draw 3.6 materials per second they draw exactly as much so if you have a lot of compressors the uh, initial cost will uh, increase so a combustor is 800, those are the expensive parts, but a compressor is 200. So if you have a lot of compressors, of course, if you can fit them, it's usually worth it to fill the area with compressors and have just as many uh, combustors as you need. All right, uh, then we can move on to this thing. Uh, on to the combustors, there are these mini add-ons. You can see how small they are. Uh, they are like this, extra combustors, they can only be placed on, uh, on existing combustors. And we have extra compressors and they can only be, uh, be installed on existing compressors on all four sides of them. And in front of here we even have uh, air intake, like intake add-ons. And they can only be installed on the uh, air intake. And if you do this, you can see you'll get a whopping um, 72,000 thrust. So that is much more powerful, powerful than this one. But you can also see because of the extra combustors, the materials per second used is now suddenly quite a bit uh, higher. It's 4.7 almost instead of 3.6. So uh, that's something you can add and if you have the space uh, it can be a good idea to add them but of course then you'll remove a, a potential connection point which can be necessary so you'll have to figure that out. Now if we are moving on here you can see here we have a unit that is not actually providing thrust. No, this thing has one of these, a jet generator installed in it. So you can see it's already online. And we have uh, three combustors as before. And you can see it produces no thrust. Hmm. Instead, inside this generator, we can see it generates power. And we can select the uh, power priority here if we want to. And uh, here you have maximum thrust fraction used for a generator. So for a jet plane, you can have this as something quite low so that you can have some auxiliary thrusters to move around. Um, and you can still have a big thrusting point here. And here you can see I've used corner exhausts and this can be a good way to, to lead the exhaust out of the vehicle if it's not going to produce thrust backwards anyways. So if we are going to set this as 100% to only generate power, then we can just um, 
point it in another direction uh, to easily stow it away. And you might wonder why would we do that? Well, let me uh, tell you. And now you can see uh, when we build this thing, we need fuel tanks. Uh, now we need more fuel tanks and it tells you that you can see add more fuel tanks. And that is because these ones are uh, exhausted. So we're going to add a bit more fuel tanks here so that we can power our huge jet engines. And if you look into this thing, you can see we are producing uh, 2500 power for a material use of 3.6, which I think is uh, pretty nice. We also have a compressor and compressors are good even if you are going to use all that power to uh, generate exhaust. And if you are using your jets and you don't want them to be visible, you can uh, unclick allow visual particle effects so it doesn't it's, it's not visible that they are online right you can also use this to generate energy like you can see uh, now our energy is generated in the right corner um, we are indeed having an electric engine and uh, it can be a good idea to charge rail guns and stuff like that so if you look at this it generates 2500 uh, potential energy per uh, Second. So that's that's really nice. And here we have the side ducted intakes. Right, so why do we have air intakes and even an exhaust? Well, it turns out that this thing only produces 1400 power, while this one produced 2500. And we have the same amount of combustors and the same amount of compressors. And that is because it gets a little bit sad if you don't have an exhaust on there. So you can see we got a little bonus of an exhaust there, basically 10%. But the most important thing is of course to have an air intake. And if we add that, they now produce the same values. So even if you're only going to use your custom jet engine to produce uh, power, you should indeed have an intake and an exhaust. And the great thing with the exhaust is that we can stow it away and just have an exhaust vent out from the side or the bottom or whatever, um, and it will be fully online. And remember that the custom jet engines really wanna be uh, over water for them to work. So we also have this thing here inside of the exhaust part you can go into it and you can select extra configuration and you can set you can see that the jaw and pitch angle so it can help you to be stable in case your uh, plane or whatever flips you can basically set that to a very small pitch amount to kind of make it so that it's straight. You can use that value to tweak your craft to be completely stable. Uh, you can also go here and deselect the manual and uh, try to make it be always point upwards so that this uh, jet engine is pointing upwards or to help it keep it horizontal. And that's something you can add to make your crafts stable too. All right, and there are some other points too. Uh, inside of here, you can see there are um, intake hull, compressor hull, jet engine hull. Um, so they are very slick and very nice and stuff like that. Uh, but it's hard to see which part is which. But if we turn this on here, we can see they work just as the other ones. Uh, however, if you want to have some extra parts on there, you can actually mix the normal and the hull parts and that's all fine. You can mix them however you want. It's just a slick version of them. So hopefully now you know a lot more about custom jet engines in From the Depth. If this video helped you, leave a like and do stay tuned. Subscribe for the next videos. Now it's time to release this platform. Goodbye.